Just a few days ago, a young man named Jaquan McKinley was murdered in Bed-Stuy, shot and killed while sitting in his car. He was 18 years old, 18. I didn't know Jaquan, but his death hit me hard because the more I found out about Jaquan's story, the more I saw how many times he had been failed by a system that is supposed to help boys like him. So many of our young men in crises fit this profile. Children who have experienced homelessness, have a learning disability, dropped out of school. It's not the profile of a killer, but the shadow of a system that isn't working the way it should. There are thousands of the Jaquans in our city right now. A thousand children experiencing homelessness and poverty who need educational support, who are at high risk. If a thousand children were trapped in a burning building, we would stop at nothing to rescue them. We cannot let thousands of children lose their lives to violence and neglect, not when we have the power to save them. We have a social, moral, human obligation to help all our children. As your mayor, I take on this responsibility. Today, I charge every city agency and department with finding new and better ways to help children like Jaquan. None of this is a quick fix or an easy lift, but it is urgent moral mission. Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. once said, we will not adjust to injustice. To Jaquan's mother and father, I want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry we betrayed him and so many others like him. But you have my word as your mayor that I would be looking out for the thousand of other Jaquans in our city because I was once a Jaquan too. I knew what it was like to worry about losing your apartment, your stability, what it's like to live with a learning disorder, and it was like what it's like to get on the wrong side of the law. I've been on that path of pain, and I know there's a way out, but it's not a road we travel alone. You need help from caring adults, functioning systems, and a healthy society. Jaquan McKinley will soon be laid to rest. He'll be mourned by his family, missed by his friends. He will not be forgotten. In his name, we will work to change the story of those boys who remain here with us today. In his memory, let's rededicate ourselves to helping a new generation of young men find their way. We owe it to Jay Khan, our city, let the work of saving thousands of boys begin.